see me put this two together it's not I mean I know it looks like a flag because you got the piece of cedar here and all the stripes this is just scrap wood that I had so I didn't want to do another uh, scrap bowl and put a bunch of pieces together I didn't want to do that so I had all these extra long pieces that were from uh, my son's uh, Red oak frame, picture frame that I made. I think it was, I know it was pretty big. It was like three, three, three feet by two and a half or whatever it was. I made it for him for college. Um, but, so I used some of that there and some of the poplar that I have here. And this is a piece of cedar. And the reason why it's there is because I didn't have enough to take it all the way to the end. So there was a piece. That, that this gap of cedar right here, that square, which was left as a gap. So I just, well, I'll throw it in there when I got done, it looked like a flag. But by no means is it going to be a flag? No. Uh, do I like the idea that it looks like one? Yes. So what I want to do is that I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to sand everything. I have to cut the ends to make those nice and even. And what I want to do is put, uh, get my router and put home, sweet, home in here. And by doing that, it'll be a plaque. So it'll look like an American flag, but it'll say home, sweet, home on it. It just, I guess it's represented an American flag by no means that I mean to do that. It's just how it came out, which is, I think, pretty cool. So it's going to go to my brother-in-law. Uh, they just moved in, so we're gonna put the, we're gonna have them put this in their house, or as a gift, and you put it in this house or outside, whatever. Uh, 
it's just a home moving gift for them. So let me get this uh, cut up even and I can start figuring out how to, where I want to put the words, if I want to do it by hand, if I'm going to do it with uh, whatever, however my means. So I haven't figured that quite out yet. We're going to figure it out together. So let's get over there, get the end of it cut, and we'll get started. situation, how I'm going to put it on here, um, what design, if it's going to be by my hand, my own handwriting, if it's going to be a stencil, I'm not for sure. So, I got to get those, uh, as you go through, look through my stuff to see what I can find. And if the letters I have fit on here, where it doesn't, you know, where it doesn't overlap or look stupid, I'll probably use those there. I have good handwriting, but to write something this big, yeah, no, I'd rather not. So, let's find some letters or something. Find something through these. settled on the goofy H, the goofy S, T, and the M to sit like that there. So now either I can leave it as it is, just put the, these letters on there, or I can router them out because my intention was to router them all out and fill it with resin, which I still may do. I think that may look better. Yeah, I'm going to fill it with resin. So let me uh, get my final pencil and we'll come back. did modify the E's, like I said earlier in the video, I modified them, um, the H here I had to modify because you're getting, they're too close, 
They're too close together here. Is that going to focus? They're much too close. And I don't want to mess it up. So I modified it so they're straight. The outside has the curve. The outside has the curve here. But the inside is gone. So I think it looks pretty good so far. I hope you guys can see that from there. sanding and a little bit of cleaning it up, it's going to be all right. Now we're going to start on the suite and then the home, but I should have started this the other way because I should have heard it upside down, but it's okay. It's in there and you'll be able to make it out when I pour the resin in there even better. So yeah, I'm happy I tried to do with the router because it's uh, actually working. My brother-in-law has a smaller router, a palm router. I wish I had that because then it would have been a whole lot easier. And WME, he offered to uh, leave it here. And I said, nah, I don't need it. Well, guess what? <laughs> I was wrong. But, all right, let's get started on the suite now. coming out a lot better than uh, I expected. And there's the, the home suite. And now we got home. Yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Should I say we're on the home stretch? <laughs> I know, corny, but whatever. It's all right. Yeah, I think this is going to be nice. Yeah, so now he's going to finish the uh, home, sand this down, and uh, mix some resin. And now I think, now that I can do it, I am going to add the red, white, and blue colors to these here. And yeah, I think that'll be really nice. All right, well, let's get started on the, on the home. It was a lot more work trying to figure out how to do it versus just doing it. So, home sweet home. I just got to sand it all down and uh, uh, 
start mixing resin and throw it in there. I think I'm going to add one thing to it though on here because you got the home sweet home. And then we have this nice space right here. We also have another space over here too as well. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I think what I want to do is put a cross right here. So maybe on that side there. Either way, I'm going to get. I'm, I'm going to start getting it, or uh, start trying to figure out the measurements for the cross, and uh, we're going to uh, router that in as well. You know what? I think I'm going to do the left side. I have more room over there, so let me put you guys back over here. there then I'll flip this around and I'll find let's see how long is this thing six inches so we need three all together from center all right so six will come down two there Put you right there, and so we need an inch and a half in the center of that, which is there, and there. All right, so I'll just draw a line here to box that in, box that in, come across. And we have a cross. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Not much. Just a little bit on the sides. Like so. Alrighty. Now we're going to get to uh, do it. Well, you've already seen me do all this already. You don't need to watch me do this. I'll come back to you when that's done. There, I think that was a nice added touch to this here. I think that was a really nice added touch. Really nice. Alright, now I gotta get to uh, sanding. Like I said earlier, we're going to do the red, white, and blue. Wow, it's a bright, pretty blue. mixed. Let's get them in there.
All right, well there she is. I scraped her down. This is what I, what I could get to make her leveled. And uh, we'll come back when I have to start sanding her down and uh, getting her uh, all cleaned up. All right, well, we'll see you then. All right, we're back. She's all nice and dry. And now I just gotta get her sanded down. And what I did is I cut an uh, oval circumference on each end and lined them up on either end here. So I'm gonna cut this out so it looks as to be one big oval. I'm not really liking the square too much as it sits. And then I may get it back up, maybe put it on there a quarter way, whatever, onto the here onto the actual Phoenician design and then do like scallops like carve it out all the way around maybe not sure yet but let's get her sanded out the old uh, scroll saw because of uh, the person who I'm making this for uh, I let him use my jigsaw so the good thing is with this here it does make better cuts but uh, it's but the sad thing is it's slower I can speed it up, but you have to be very, if you know how to use one of these here, you know you have to take your time. It ain't something you just rush through. So, now I've got to cut the, the corners off here, round those off. I took the liberty of already cutting the flat ends here, because it'd be a lot easier doing that. I mean, this has a long throat in it, but it just makes it easier on the, on the, on the table saw. So, I have to cut these out here on both ends, and... We should be able to uh, uh, put some clear on it and go from there. All right, well, let me uh, get this thing started up. Like I said earlier, I was going to put a bunch of these, use the cup to make a bunch of these little loops in here, but I want to get my carving tool and make it look like scallops going in and out, and my fear is that I may mess it up, 
but then again, I may not. So, well, one thing we can do is try, right? So let's go from there. Scabs are probably hard to see now that everything is smoothed out. I'm gonna get some sandpaper <clears throat> and uh, really smooth them out by hand all through here. And then once all that's done, I'll come back and uh, we'll spray her down, and uh, you, be, you, you'll, you'll be able, you should be able to see all the scabs. It came out a lot better than I thought they were going to. Doing some new things I haven't done before, so let's see. Alright, well, this is all hand sanded all through the things here, or the scallops. Now, I know it's hard to see from there on here. I even have a hard time seeing it. So let's put a coat of our clear on there and see if they pop out or not. Be a little hard to see. Yeah, I can see him in the camera. At least what it looks like, anyway. She's finally done. Uh, you can see the, uh, there you go. Now you can see them. Up close and personal. I think come out really nice. Is it way back here so you can see the whole thing together. But everything come out really nice. And you just see it with the logo in there. So I think it's going to be a good piece for their uh, their house. I'm probably just going to put a picture frame hook back here versus uh, the eye hooks. I think that'll look more cleaner up on a wall. So with that being said, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And even share the video, please. Um, I have a lot of people, again, you heard me say this before, that are watching it and uh, either not liking it or whatever it may be. Like I said last time, you know, it's hard to please everybody. But I hope that more people start liking them and subscribing because that would really help me out and uh, I really appreciate it too as well. So until the next time, God bless.